Let's see if I can go after that torso. Oh, I'm pulling that front strap enough. All right, welcome back to the Canadian Gun Vault, where we're going to be taking a closer look at the HK Squeeze Cock and P7. We're going to go in and take a closer look at this pistol. What we have here is a uh, marvel of engineering developed by HK in the uh, late 70s. It's in response to the 1972 Munich Massacre. Unfortunately, the German police were terrifically outnumbered and outgunned by terrorists, so the uh, great German manufacturer developed this gun. And it's an amazing collectible and an amazing shooter. I'm really enjoying this one today. It's not one of those things that you see all together too often at the Canadian Gun Vault. This one was developed, uh, like I said, in the mid to late 70s. And it had a host of features that were not common on pistols. You've got uh, this front strap that doubles as a slide release. And it's a safety for this gun. It was developed for police use and it had that, uh, that in mind. It's gas operated. The uh, chamber is fluted so it floats gases in and around the... Uh, cartridge as they uh, eject to assist in their extraction. This gun actually enjoys the enviable reputation of working even if it doesn't have an extractor in place. I mean this is about as reliable as it gets. It was definitely a, uh, a piece that was difficult to machine and expensive and time consuming to make which is ultimately why it was dropped from the lineup. But it is a great shooter and as it so happens it was also the gun that was used by Hans Gruber in the 1980s classic Die Hard. I'm gonna try one more of these. They don't turn up on the exchange too often. Generally speaking, they run $2,500 and up. They made different models uh, for different parts of law enforcement. There's an M13 that was a 13 round model that had a uh, magazine release that was in a more traditionally located position for the people that had a hard time adjusting to this heel style release here at the bottom. It soaks up the recoil pretty good. This front strap though is really interesting. As you squeeze it, that's how it drops the slide. That front strap takes some getting used to. I'll move on over to the torso target. Just a great shooter. I'm really enjoying this. We got the loan of this one just for the day, and I can understand completely why the owner wouldn't want to part with it for too long. Like I said, you don't see them turn up too often, and it's definitely a little piece of cinematic history. You know, everybody remembers Han Gruber falling out of that window, and uh, with it being Christmas time, we couldn't help but pair it up with the... Uh, 92F carried by John McLean that's over there on the bench. Anyway, we've really enjoyed spending a little bit of time with you here at the Canadian Gun Vault. Right, we hope you've enjoyed this week's episode and uh, make sure to shoot straight, stay safe.